Hi everyone, in this AutoHockey script demo, I'm going to show you a script written by an AutoHockey user called Maestrith. And using this script, you are able to create a souped up version of Trade Tip that allows you to customize your notification much more than the standard Trade Tip. If you're interested in this script, please continue watching. All right, welcome back. This notify script can be found in this URL on GitHub and the actual script is saved in this notify.ahk file. And so you can download this and use it um, following the example that is given in the script, uh, which is right here. But I've converted this into a library and also made a few tweaks to it. And so I can use it as a part of my main script. And that library can be found on my website, juho-li.com. And if you go to archive and click the auto hockey icon and select the drop down list and go all the way down to script demo number 13, custom trade tip using notify script, that library will be saved there. Now, there are some commented out texts which represent the examples that I'm going to show in this video. And the actual script starts from the click object function right here. Now, in order to replicate this uh, library, what you can uh, do is you can select everything, then copy all the text and go to the folder where you're, going, where you're going to keep the main script that you're going to use to call this library and create a new AutoHockey script and call it notify.ahk and open it up to override everything inside with the library that you got from my website. So if you hit save and go to your main script, that's all set up. Okay, now that we have created the library, what we're going to do is in the main script that we are going to use, I'm just going to put in single instance force and include the library that we have created. And then um, I'm going to first start off by showing you the most basic example of no the notification banner. And when you create the notification banner by using this uh, notify.ahk script, you always have to start with notify and open and close parentheses and put a dot and then go add window and open and close parentheses again. Now this is the basic structure of the notification banner and what you need to provide in the parentheses that follow the add window command is two arguments. The first argument is your text that goes into the body of the notification banner. And then the second argument is an associated array that contains key value pair of data that you provide, which will represent the attributes that you're giving to that notification banner. So uh, the most basic examples are an example of key value pair of data is title and the way you provide that data or attribute within the associated array is by specifying the key, which is title, followed by colon, and provide the data that you're going to give to that notification banner. That's going to be my title, and that's going to be the title of my notification banner. If you're providing a static string, then you obviously have to wrap, wrap that with quotation marks. Otherwise, you can leave that out if you're using a variable. Now, the second most common um, attribute that you provide within the script would be the time, which is given in milliseconds. So 5000 would be five seconds. And let me now save the script and run it. And I will get a notification banner in the bottom right hand corner, just like a trade tip. If you remove the time attribute and run the script again, this notification banner will stay there forever until you finish, if you end the script, or you can click on the banner to make it go away. Now, if you don't want to make it go away, when you click on the banner, what you can do is you can take out a small 
piece of the code within the notify library which is which is this one so if you search for that within the notify library and removed it hit save go back to my main script to run this when I click on the notification banner it won't go away okay now let me go back to the library and add it back in and hit save next up is using a variable say text I'm just going to create a random variable called text and make make this my my text and title to you create a title using a variable and if you want to use variables within the within the notify script then you can just simply replace the static strings with with this and you'll get the strings that are um, saved in the variable now you can also use obviously an input box title and enter text and 100 by 100 and let's say text and do all that now let me comment this out so if you run the script now it will give you an input box to say my random text my random title and the values that I have input in the input box would show up in the notification banner like that if you wanted to use the input box for example you can also create multiple uh, multiple notification banners by just simply just duplicating the line so let me go first and title no title you don't have to provide a title to so I can just go uh, 5,000 milliseconds and the second one to show up for maybe 6,000 milliseconds and next one 7,000 and so on and so forth 8,000 I'll do up to four notification banners so if I save this and run it I'll get four banners in the bottom right corner like that which will go away um, the first one will go away after five seconds and the next one's each second or I can just click on them to get rid of them too now if you think the text size of the body of the notification banner or the title is too small or too big so for example let me just for example if I ran this now I'd get the body of the text that looks maybe slightly big um, so I want to change it I want to reduce the font size then what you can do is you can provide the size attribute and provide the font size let's say 14 and let's see how small that gets okay there you go so you can adjust the font size by providing the size attribute and when you have a title of say my title this won't change the size of the title so for example it looks it looks similar but if I say for example reduce this to five my title is still going to be of the same size as before and that's because the font size for the title is different and to change the font size of the title you go title size and uh, let's say five and th in this way both of the uh, title and text will change to a small font size let me change it back to a bigger one there we go you can change it um, make it bigger like this and you can also change the font family by uh, doing this so font and you just got to provide say I'm gonna go times new Roman the name of the font family and this will change the body's uh, font like that and if you want to change the title um, font family then you can do title font okay and this time I'm going to provide impact as the font family of my title if I run this there we go so you can see that the font families have changed for both title and the body you can change the color of the font as well 
in this manner and you have to provide the hex code of the color so for example I have some color codes here some color codes down here um, if I want to use red font for the the body text and use say color to change the color of the title uh, title color is the right key and say I want to provide the yellow color for the title if I save this and run it I get the yellow color for the title and the red color for the body text uh, this is how you can change the font size family and the color of the text and uh, to find out other colors what you can do is just go google search hex code of color codes i think you are able to you're able to find a lot on google when you do a simple search of the hex code of different colors now let me erase all of this and show you the next one which is radius you can change the radius of the notification banner as well and right now let's say there's there's no radius if I don't provide anything and that's just gonna be a rectangle if I provide the radius attribute to say 10 then you're gonna see the padding going away and you will see the curved edges instead of angled edges angled corners more like and if I say I increased it to 800 I think this is gonna be like a like a round circle there we go it looks ugly uh, but if you provide a, a large number for the radius then you get something like that let's see what happens if I provide a radius of one then it becomes a rectangle it still be, is a rectangle but you 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 lose all the padding and maybe 300 let's see what happens if I do 300 okay maybe a hundred okay if you do a hundred then you get that um, pod shape I suppose you can change the animation of the notification banner as well so if I ran the script again you may miss, have missed it but there's a quick animation when the notification banner gets created I think it right now by default it is it starts from the right and then slides in uh, but you can change that by providing the animation attribute and also change the the show delay which is the amount of time that takes for the animation to finish so let me go ahead and go animate and there's a quite a few options let me start with top and show delay come on uh, show delay attribute and i'll set it as 1000 i think this is in milliseconds too so i'll get 1000 i mean one second changes to animation let me remove this as well and if you run this then you can see the animation vividly when you set the show delay to a longer period of time and there's a, a few other options let me change it to left it slides in from the left right to sliding in from the right and center is sort of widen out from the center and bland i think is it's a pretty cool animation of fading in um and, and in such manner you can change the animation and the delay as well now next up is flash so flashing is just basically changing the color of the banner and um, i don't think i have did i cover changing the color of the banner um i might not have i don't think i covered the background color yeah okay, I know I didn't cover the background color so let me first cover the background color which is just background and uh, color code and uh, let me just use uh, green this is um, this is the green color hex code and if I run it the background color of the banner changes to green and let me go back to flash and with flash actually let me bring back the color codes and 
and set this to set the background to black which actually I don't need because by default it's it's black um, to use the flash command or attribute you just go flash and then provide the amount of time the interval at which the background color will change and then you also have to provide the flash color which is going to be another hex code and let me use the the red color this time and uh, if i run this i'll get a flashing notification banner like that in the colors that i have provided i can obviously change this to maybe yellow instead of black and yeah and it will change to yellow and and red now you can also use a progress bar uh, progress bar is a um, GUI that you can use and I'm gonna quickly show you an example do not turn P off PC for example please wait and this is an example of automation progress this is an example of uh, progress GUI I think this is deprecated so they don't recommend you to use it um, but if you want to create a progress bar like that you can can still use that and make sleep 2000 progress change to 100 so initially let me do let me put a sleep of two seconds first and then change the progress to halfway and then move it all the way all the way up to 100 and then sleep and then go progress off so what this is going to do is it's going to give you an Im effect of uh, doing it like an installation um, progress bar now using this the notify library has you has the same sort of progress bar that you can create and that is by using the progress um, progress bar this that's the body of my text and if you use if you use the progress um, attributes you will see a progress bar down here like that and you can increase the progress amount to 50 or 100 like that to change the amount of of the progress within the progress bar if you want to increase the progress bar gradually um, i think that is that wasn't available within the original notify script so i created that and in my version of the notify library that is possible and i'm gonna cut the video short here because i know it's getting longer than i expected so i'll wrap it up here and continue on the rest in the next video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video